Wow. Listen, okay, so <clears throat> I uh, I downloaded a bunch of different soundtracks. Unfortunately, I only managed to process one game. Uh, bonus brownie points for whoever guesses the game. Obviously, uh, it, it would it would not be difficult. Play other company music. I wish, I wish other company music made uh, some. Uh, listen, there's a lot of really good music, but I, I I downloaded what I like for now. Reported, that one will sue your ass. Yeah, well, it's a good thing that all of the streams are unlisted, isn't it? I, besides, I need uh, happy music for what I'm going to be doing today. Listen, this music makes me happy, okay? I, I, I love this uh, game, and at some point I will do a playthrough of this game for the channel. How, hello, how's everyone doing? Hello, Cactus. Hello, RGB. Hello, Andrino. Hello, Kevbo. Hello, Mimesis. Is that everyone? Hello, I'm a tan. I know you're lurking. I see you. Uh, I think the game has crashed. It does this sometimes when I'm loading. Let's do an Alt F4. It occasionally likes to crash for some reason. Who's played this game, by the way? The, not the one I'm playing, but the uh, the one that the music is from. It's happy music. Yeah, so I've got a happy music button that I, I'm trying to sort the games by like mood. So I have a different button for for theme. So we got this is happy music. Then we got hold on, the sad music. Oh no. Oh. oh no. No. She's dead. No. <laughs> All right. No, no, did I press? Oh, I, 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 it's on play next. Hold on, uh, top right, play next, play stop. There we go. I guess I could do play fade. Uh, yeah, that, that works. Play fade is better. Bottom right, play fade. And then, uh, bottom left, play fade. Okay, so we got sad music. Wait, why is there mul mul <laughs> you missed the Markiplier uh, segment of last week? And then, and then we've got cool. And then we got we got cool combat music. Yo, it just makes me want to get up and dance. Here, let me see if I can do a dance for you. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Incredible high budget uh, special effects. Please make a dancing pimple. I was thinking about it. That would actually be pretty good. All right. So what I. Um, plan on trying to achieve today is um, I'm gonna do some resource gathering and then I'm going to put a bunch of resources on the Cyclops 
and I'm going to take it down to the underground river and we're gonna make a base at the underground river. How does that sound? Does that sound pretty good? And the reason being, because then I don't have to go travel nearly as far to uh, basically process what I've collected. Sound pretty good? I'm gonna... We'll, we'll bring some plants, we'll bring a bunch of resources. Man, I, I am never ever going to figure out to press tab instead of uh, escape. I guess I could set the music to loop, but then it would loop and sometimes I forget that it's looping because I like it and then and then it's looping for hours. I wouldn't dream of telling you how to play Vimple, but once you're ready to fully explore the Lost River and beyond, you don't need to build any bases. The Cyclops is a mobile base. It's true. I, I do understand that. Um, however, um, the, the, the Cyclops is very losable, right? Like, at a certain point, is it not very easy to uh, get it destroyed? get it uh, lost in some form. You can build anything you want inside of it, including beds, grow pots, storage, but can you build uh, power generation is the one thing. Welcome Captain. I guess there's, okay, so there is storage. So we have tons of storage. Um, what is the most beautiful game you ever played? I think, uh, I think Flower is a really pretty game, but I don't think it's the prettiest game I've ever played. I think Katamari actually comes very close. Katamari, uh, and I know that's weird because it's not necessarily a, um, I don't know. It's just like, it really, it, it gets me, you know? The chat is stuck. Is it? Oh, right. Sorry. Thank you. Every, every week now, I forget. Ooh. You can build anything you want inside. Sorry, computer crash for a second. Indeed, dancing bimples wholesome. Chat is stuck, by the way. What does access denied in Steam mean? What? You can craft multiple power cells on the surface. There is a germo thermo generator upgrade for the Cyclops that restores its in-use batteries with environment's heat. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, in that case, maybe we'll just focus on getting upgrades for our various vessels this stream. I was going to build a base closer to the, um, the river because then I figured it would be a little bit easier to just, like, bring stuff back. And the underground river, although there are some spooky creatures near it, actually inside of it, there didn't seem to be a lot of stuff. Nasties. Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna want to make the prawn suit jump jump jet upgrade. I definitely do want to make that um, I think uh, did I make the prawn suit depth module or did I make the cyclops depth module? I think I made the cyclops depth module. Let me check my inventory uh, Well, it's not in there What do we have in here? We just have the engine efficiency module. I think I made the prawn suit upgrade. Cyclops upgrade machine is inside the Cyclops by the engine. Oh. Well, yeah. Those are the upgrades. What about the... Um, is there... Is there... Uh, ah! Upgrade fabricator. Okay, so upgrade mark one is actually not too bad at all. We're going to need some plasteel. That's probably the most valuable thing in there. Um, and we already have the engine efficiency module. We could get the sonar upgrade. We should probably get that for when, you know, things are getting spicy. Cyclops fire suppression system. Would that be recommended? Probably, I would guess it would be. Decoy tube. Increase the capacity of the decoy's loading tube. But we're going to have to focus on the depth module 
I guess the shield generator might be a good one, huh? And the sonar. But we don't know how to make the shield generator. And we don't know how to make the sonar upgrade. Hmm. So... I guess we'll focus on plasteel and rubies. I think I already have the rubies. I just need... Oh. I just need uh, the plasteel. The plasteel generally is pretty expensive. Uh, don't worry. Like, let me let me uh, explain a little bit. I'm not trying to artificially expand like this series. I do want to finish this game, um, but I do also not want to have to redo things I've already done, including building the Cyclops. I would rather be a little bit safe about things and um, you know give it whatever upgrades it needs so that I don't have to like rebuild the cyclops if it gets completely destroyed by creatures okay so we have a ton of rubies so what we really just need is plasteel where is plasteel there it is titanium ingot and two lithium i think i have the lithium i might not have the titanium we have tons of lithium so we should have the plasteel um let me see i might even have the titanium somewhere apparently not magnetite no sonar upgrade is found in rex in the blood kelp trench in the south the bulb zone east and the grand reef far south dunes equals high high danger cyclops shield is in the sea trader wreck or the dunes wreck let me open up my map here There's, I see this is just like unassigned. I see the dunes, they're northwest. Um, far, the Grand Reef is far south. Sea Trader, Sea Trader wreck? Sea Trader, okay, I see the Sea, sea Traders. I thought it was Sea Trader, but it's Sea Trader. Um, so that's southwest below the dunes. So, um, what I would have to do is I would have to go to the blood kelp, find the blood kelp, and then, um, I can follow it west to the sea treaters path. And then I see where the wreck is. It's on the south, south corner of the sea treaters path. Um, I'm sure that's a little bit dicey, but I, I, I'd be willing to do it. Do you see the sea treaters? I see the sea, sea treaters. So let me go ahead and pin um, what your message, uh, Kevbo, so I don't lose track of it. But I'm not, so I'm not going to go to the dunes. There is a wreck in the dunes. I see that, but I'm not going to go there. Screw that. Sorry. Um, we're, let's just focus on the, uh, on the task at hand, which is right now is the depth module. So we need titanium, so let's go get some titanium from the, uh, Aurora. Do I have anything in here that I forgot to unload? Nope. Good. Uh, actually, let me eat some food before we go. We're good. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oops. So we're just collecting titanium for now.
So, uh, how was, how was everyone's day slash night? It's been about 24 hours since, uh, I saw y'all. I, um... Yeah. I learned, uh, I, I, I had a tutorial session with, uh, with my friend Narf, um, last night. And I learned quite a bit about how to play Dwarf Fortress. Definitely expect more Dwarf Fortress um, content in your future. I'm looking forward to playing more of that. I really like that game, obviously. It's, it's a heck of a game, you know? I'll, uh, if I see any teeth, I'll collect those as well. What is the plan on Subnautica today? Uh, I'm going to be working on getting upgrade modules and upgrading the depth module for um, both the prawn suit and the uh, and the cyclops. That is the more or less the major plan. There's other stuff as well. I, I hope to do some exploration as well, but uh, I kind of want to get the some of the extra modules that I'm missing, like the shield generating module and maybe the energy generating module and the sonar for the Cyclops. Those are going to be the major things I need um, probably to complete the rest of the game. Then, you know, and like there's a, there's other stuff as well. Obviously, I need, but um, those are the major things that I care about. And I was going to build an extra base, but Kevbo has said that I could just use the Cyclops. So if I'm going to use the Cyclops, I'd rather upgrade the Cyclops to uh, a comfortable, you know, point. So that's what I'm doing. Dwarf Fortress style reminds me a little bit of Caves of Cud. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I think that uh, definitely Caves of Cud has been... I mean, it's been influenced by a lot of different um, sources, but definitely Dwarf Fortress is one of those games that um the the you know the the people it's influenced it's influenced a lot uh i didn't really get a chance much to talk about um door fortress much yesterday ironically because i was too busy playing door fortress and trying to figure out how to play it but um it was the at least one of the original influences for minecraft so says uh the man notch but you know who can say that? I don't know if I believe a single word that comes out of that guy's mouth. Also, a, a very obvious influence for Minecraft was uh, a game called Infinite Miner, um, which was, I believe, made by Zachtronics, the guy who made, uh, he, he basically made his own brand of genre called Zach Likes um, that are all very logic-based games. Um, and I have a high amount of respect for him and those games and I'm, I'm sorry to hear that he, I guess he, he's gotten out. He's He did every single type of Zack-like that he ever wanted to do. So I think that that's it for Zack-likes, which kind of sucks. But, you know, everyone's got, got a certain amount in them that they want to do. Nor Fortress reminded me of RimWorld and similar games. RimWorld, uh, I think I could objectively say would not exist if it was not for Dwarf Fortress. RimWorld has a lot to thank to uh, thank for uh, Dwarf Fortress and like you know even the art style uh, of RimWorld I think it's fair to say is very heavily influenced from um, Prisoner Architect and I don't I don't think Prisoner Architect would exist if not for Dwarf Fortress so you know you have this very cascading uh, influence effect ripple ripple uh, effect that Dwarf Fortress has created. Dwarf Fortress, I think, is possibly one of the most influential games. Although, I don't know. There's there's others, but, like, it created its own genre, you know? Like, the, the, the colony sim exists almost primarily because of Dwarf Fortress. Um, and it's in, like, I, I, I'm not going to say it's the best of its genre. It's hard to say that. That's a very subjective thing. But um, it is certainly the most... I've said that I say I explain this to other people is like, you know, Dwarf Fortress is the most video game <laughs> like um, There have been there, there's not really a lot of cases as dramatic as Dwarf Fortress is You know, like when it comes to how much time and effort 
and resources and just hey my dude there's absolutely no call for that i know you think there's a call for that but there's no there's no call for that so i'm afraid i'm gonna have to put you down remember when i was afraid of these things I thought that these things were the leviathans when I first started playing this game Okay, well as long as you're leaving that's fine um Yeah, like Kind of lost my train of thought there door fortress. Th there's very few examples of like a game that's been like Contributed to as much as that the grandfather of a genre Rimworld is literally just what if Dwarf Fortress was sci-fi. Yeah, and you know what? I think that's totally valid. Um, I, I, you know, I, something I do appreciate about Rimworld is how it has differentiated itself without necessarily deviating. Um, like, it is, as you say, uh, Dwarf Fortress in space. But here's what I appreciate. The differences about Rimworld is that I think that it puts a lot more value in an individual in uh you know in in your uh your colony like you the people you're taking care of in rimworld matter a lot more like you kind of grow attached to them the stories are a little bit more uh there's more emphasis on them as people as individuals dwarf fortress though there is a lot of story and emphasis on the individual you can look for it it's much more about the collective and the stories that kind of bubble to the surface about the collective and uh, so in that sense, I think that RimWorld has done a great job of differentiating itself. Um, I haven't played the RimWorld with any of the DLCs. I, I kind of don't really have the funds to make that happen. I believe there are three DLCs now. What is it? Royalty? Is it Ideology? And then uh, Cybernetics or something? But there's like three of them and they're all $40 and I just can't afford that. <laughs> Sorry. I talked a little bit about it yesterday, but it's like, I, you know, I, I, it's not that I don't think they're worth it. I, I'm sure they are. I just don't have the money to 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 spend on one game. Um, I would like to do some RimWorld content for the channel, but like, you know, man, there's like, you know, one only has so much life to give. You know what I mean? Uh... Space Cam was also made by Zach. Very cool game. And didn't require a manual to play. It's true. Um, Zach tends to like his manuals, doesn't he? I keep gendering him. I'm not actually sure about that. I, I And I'm, I'm serious when I say I, I, do, I, I don't know um, what their preferred pronoun is. Someone's going to make mock me for even saying that, but I, I, I do take those things kind of seriously. Um... But yeah, no, they, they, uh, Zach likes their, their, uh, their manuals, and I have printed out a number of manuals for, uh, Zach likes. Just get Door Fortress for free. You could do that, but then you need a manual. <laughs> uh, free Door Fortress is a beast and a half, um, and I, I think the, I think the price of, um, Door Fortress is very fair. Um, considering it has about four or five expansions worth of content in there already. Um, and also just the, the ability to play Door Fortress uh, with some kind of accessibility UI features uh, is, is quite nice. It's, it's a, it's, it really is a beautiful thing. I, I, I very much appreciate the update. And I'll, let me be clear, because I don't, I don't want to be um, completely, you know, rose-tinted glasses or something. I guess that's more nostalgia, but, like, I, I, do, I think there's room for improvement. I think that the Door Fortress new UI, uh, there is, there's room for improvement on it. Um, but I still, I still think it's a vast improvement over the original. I'm looking forward to seeing how they... I'm hoping they will continue working on it because there there are things Okay, what what is going on? I'm looking for the Is the upgrade module only in the Cyclops? I thought I could access the module maker or something 
I was talking about the literal joke price of RimWorld and its expansions. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm not coming at you. I'm, uh, wait, hold on. Mark 2, Mark 3. Is the upgrade module maker only in the Cyclops? Let me go and find out. Free is relative. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Um, there, there's plenty of people who have supported Door Fortress that it, like, if you don't have the funds to make it, uh, you know, to, 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 to buy it. I just talked about RimWorld being too expensive for me. So, uh, you know, I get it, but, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I, 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 I bought it as soon as it went up. Cause it was like, I, I don't even care if, even if I didn't, couldn't afford this, it's just like, this is just a ridiculously, this is a legend, you know, you don't, you, this doesn't come up very often. Okay, here we go. Depth Cyclops module. Um, that was good to hear for, yeah, uh, it's done very well for itself. Um, and, and that's really good. If you don't know, um, Door, Door Fortress has been free for 20 years. The the, devel the the developers have been working like tirelessly on that game for like 20 plus years and only for like donations like they've just been kind of making do with donations and they they've done fine like i i you know no one uh i i i think that they have been like i wouldn't say scraping by but like you know managing you know um, and then one of them, uh, this is public knowledge, so it's not like I'm outing them or anything, but they're, they're, one of them had a health scare and, uh, you know, you live in the States, uh, you either, uh, you either create door fortress or you become Walter White, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they, they, one of them had a health scare and they decided that they wanted to, um, okay, here we go. I need another plasteel ingot. They they needed to 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 make some money, and um, it was finally time to you know consider selling the product that they had been making for the twenty years. Um, so now I kind of appreciate how they have like now officially like in some ways embraced capitalism. Uh, that almost I'm sure someone out there will resent me for saying that, but. The thing I appreciate is that not only are we getting Dwarf Fortress as like an actual paid product now, uh, but there's they're also doing merch. So you can you can buy a Dwarf Fortress t-shirt and you better believe I'm buying the Dwarf Fortress t-shirt. Come on. Come on, dude. Yo, let's go. <laughs> you better believe I'm buying that t-shirt. Oh my God. Thoughts on Ixion? It looks good, but it also looks like another game that I need a degree to play. Um, I like the look of it. Uh, but I I do question how much fun I, I specific personally would get from that game. Cyclops upgrades are made on the Cyclops. Prawn suit and Seamoth upgrades are made on Moonpool. All depth modules can only be upgraded at the upgrade station. Um, are, is the, the hand on face uh for my benefit or because it it doesn't really make sense that you have to build the upgrades in three different stations um okay mark three so we need kyanite is kyanite the stuff that i have to go to this, one of the dangerous zones to get i'm assuming it is hold on my mouse is flaking on me Okay, so the prawn suit also requires kyanite. Where am I gonna go? That shirt is mid. What? Yo. What? 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 How dare you? Hats. You gotta get me one of them door fortress. Yo, is there a door fortress hat? Do not forget that Epic is giving free games this month. Yeah, I mean, uh, for those of you who have and uh, use an Epic account, um, just so you know, there is a free game. I don't know which one. Hand on face is because Subnautica has way too many extra steps. Kyanite is only found deep. 
past the Lost River. Also, you can build an upgrade station on the Cyclops. Um, question. Kevbo, should I just deconstruct this uh, modification station and then make it on, remake it on the Cyclops? Is that valid? Because it seems to me uh, that I don't really need this here anymore. But I need to make the... Um, I do need to make the power generation mod for the Cyclops. Where is that? Bronze suit, Cyclops depth module. We need Kyanite. Hmm. I still need the prawn suit grappling arm. Game awards today. Ooh. When you are ready to go deep. I won't lie, uh, going deep makes me feel a little bit, um, poopy. A little, little, little bit, a uh, little bit drop trow on, on roof. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, st I'm still not over that. I'm still, I'm still on that. Um. Should I try and get the other parts first? Let's uh, try and find the sonar upgrade in the blood kelp trench. Can I put solar panels on the Cyclops? That's probably stupid because um, you know, we're going to go deep where there is no sunlight. I do like the idea of the Cyclops. It's just like, I don't know. Um, do you, I've been explaining myself badly when it comes to the Cyclops, why I don't like it. Um, do you, you know, like, you, you guys have heard of claustrophobia, right? I, I get the opposite feeling of claustrophobia from the Cyclops. It's, it's just, a, you know, it's too spacious. It makes me feel uncomfy. Why deep make you feel poopy, Bimple? <laughs> um, because it's it's scary. It's scary down there. Uh, let's make a fabricator as well. Why not? Seems great at first, but it's literally one of the worst parts of the first game. I just don't like how big it is. It really does make me feel uncomfortable. Important the game award uh, Andrino what time are the game awards because I do kind of want to watch them um, aboard, It's 1230 p.m. For me right now It's too powerful to you to be too useful but simultaneously too big and too awkward and then that power trivializes the final areas of the game Um, I don't have uh, an opinion on this TBH. I, I defer to your uh, opinion on this. I'm not. I know you're not saying like I'm. I, I can like it if I want. I know you're not saying that. Uh, but I just like. Eh. Um. Oh, I need. Okay, table coral sample. We're gonna. We're gonna do some stuff. Should make you feel uncomfy. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's just like feel, like it's like if I saw a whale in right real life Um, you guys ever go to one of like a museum or something An exhibit and they have like on display a, like a model of a whale or something or a model of a mammoth Big like really large things make me feel really skeezed out I don't like it It's it, it's sort of like when you're a kid and you uh, You see one of those people in the costumes like a goofy costume or something like those they always freaked me out I'm, not, I'm okay with clowns before anyone s says anything about it I, Clowns are fine. I don't mind clowns. Um, I just don't, really don't like Large things things are like much larger than myself 
it's it's uh it makes me feel uh creeped out i mean simultaneously i also don't like spiders so you know I, i'm just uh you know dropping my spaghetti all over the place as the kids they'd say uh, you know if the kids they say if they were born in the 90s Only thing that scares me about big things is whenever there's a very, very tall roof, because it, I feel like it's gonna, that it falls in dead meat. What? Huh? What you say? It's 55. Spiders are wonderful. It's all the other bugs that are terrible. I've been bitten by spiders. I don't understand. Like, I, okay, listen, if you get, I've met people who have bugs for pets, so that's fine. Um, you love your pet, and that's fine, and I'm not gonna question that. I'm not gonna make you feel bad. Um, but, uh, you know, like, I've been bitten by spiders. Like, spiders can be just as much jerks as any insect. Like, if you put your hand in the wrong... Whoa, that was weird. If you put your hand in the wrong zone and they feel threatened, they'll bite you. And you're like, oh, well, they're just, they're just defending themselves. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I'm still being bitten. I, I like, I, I don't care what their motivation is. I understand spiders are clever. You know, they're smart. And I know, I, I do know a lot about spiders. I know that they can uh, become endeared to you. They're one of the few, like, small things that can actually grow a fondness for you. So if you have, like, a spider in your house and you take care of it, like you give it food and stuff. Um, the strange thing about spiders is they can actually grow a fondness for for you as a person, which is a very strange thing. Um, also, spiders are one of the few uh, insect-like creatures, at least, that can have lungs. That's a weird thing I know about spiders. Spiders are cool. They're interesting, but I don't like them. <laughs> I'm, and I'm allowed. I, 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 I will not... I will not relent on that. I understand they get rid of a lot of things that I should also care about, and I don't want those things in my house either. But, you know, like if I see a house centipede, I, you better believe that house centipede, their life, their their days, their seconds are numbered. Um, but I'm afraid if I see a spider, you know, I the way I see it is I'm training them. You know, I'm training, I'm teaching the spiders I'm, it's, it's sort of like I'm creating natural selection for them. I'm, you know, if you let me see you, then um, you failed. Th that is uh, that is you failing. And if I never see you, then you get to live. That's it. That's that. And then someone's gonna get really annoyed from at me saying that, but I don't care. <laughs> it's like it's my house. I'm I I can live without feeling uh, creeped out by the things that live inside of it. I just l let them live when uh, I see them because they eat the other disgusting bugs. That inf yeah, I mean, f fair. I'm not going to tell you not to do that. Um, people have gotten very uppity to me specifically. What am I doing also? I put the module in. Um, I guess all of the things I need right now are with made with kyanite. And then, oh, okay, I'm going to try and get uh, some of the other, the parts that I'm missing. Um, Kevbo, can you tell me where the prawn suit grappling arm is? I'm going to need a bunch of stuff for these parts, but that's okay. Those are, those are going to be fine. I need the Cyclops shield generator and the sonar upgrade. Uh, I still try and keep the spider population under control because I don't want a spider farm, right? Small house spiders are based because if I just let them live, I get protection from mosquitoes. I saw a life-sized pterodactyl mod model and it scared me. Ants make me mad. Ants suck. I do hate ants. Only thing that scares me about big things. Okay, we, we read that one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna eat some food. Yo, why do these bulbo trees look weird? 
I don't like those bulbul trees looking like that. That's weird. Vital signs stabilizing. Um let's go ahead and deposit some stuff. I guess I'll put my lithium in the correct spot. And uh, we'll just put the titanium in there for now. Uh, we're eating food. That's what we're doing right now. I have enough batteries. I've got all of the things I need. Front suit grappling arm is found all over the place in wrecks. Blood kelp trench, dunes, Grand Reef, underwater islands. Mountains. Dunes and mountains are danger zones. Yep. I, I, I am not going to either of those places. Maybe ever. I think that's fair to say. I don't think I ever want to go there. So we're going to go to the blood kelp zone. And uh, I'll see if I can't find something I haven't found already. Where's the moth? Oh, where's my moth? Oh, I'm looking right at it. You can find grappling arms in blood kelp area to kill two birds with one stone. Yep. So that's where we're going now. So we're going to be going west. Just basically straight west. I understand that um, the dunes are also straight west, so I'm going to have to be careful. Um, is the sparse reef very dangerous? I see the sparse reef. And, um, I, I have to go to the sea traders path. You can 100% achievement trophy subnautica without ever visiting the dunes, mountains, or crash zone. Literally one third of the surface map is useless. Well, I mean, okay. Let me, let me, uh... Um... I don't know how to put this without it sounding confrontational. Let me, let me suggest an idea here. Uh... They are useful in that they are interesting places to explore. <laughs> and I mean, like, is that not the game? What is the game? What is Subnautica? Like, what, what would you, how would you summarize the gameplay of Subnautica? I think it's mostly a game of exploration. Resource gathering, yes, obviously. The resource gathering is just a clever way of kind of gating the exploration, though. Oh. Um, I'm being chased right now. Uh, there was a Leviathan, and I don't know if I'm in the right zone right now. Underwater exploration survival. Remember to use your Seamoth sonar and taser. Thank you for the reminder. Does that show me fish as well? You spotted a funny little lad over there. <laughs> I sure did. Does the taser work on Leviathans at all? I guess, um, is my, is my, uh, comeback later in the sparse reef or in the blood kelp? It's a little bit southwest, so I have to assume it's in something important. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to change my battery. Sonar shows everything, including Leviathans. Taser works best against Leviathans. Come back later was an entrance to the Lost River. It was, but where is that entrance? Like, what zone is that entrance in? I just don't want to, like, accidentally find myself in the dunes. There's there's a Leviathan. Because I want to go slightly southwest. Jesus Christ. Should be Blood Kelp Trench or Grand Reef. Can't remember exactly. Dunes is always dead west. All right, well, let's go to, um, let's go to my comeback later, because at least I know that that's safe-ish. You're way too far west. Sea Treaters is south of you right now. Southeast. Blood tr Kelp Trench is southeast. Really? It looks southwest on my map. Oh, God damn it. I really don't like you. All right, I'm going to go southwest. Didn't know there was eight whole reapers in the dunes. That was the trench come back later was the blood kelp trench my bad okay i'm gonna go back to the well okay i still need to go to the sea treaters path which um i'm gonna go southwest from here and maybe we'll get to the sea treaters path I'm, I'm pinging as much as possible so I don't get jump scared. Okay, this is looking like a trench. There's a ridiculous amount of reapers in this game. Yeah. Y'all are going to have to help me a little bit here. You're on the Sea Treaters path zone right now. The wreck is... The wreck is near the bottom. It shares... Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Oh no. Okay. Look out. <laughs> God damn it. 
We have to go off the crater's edge and meet the ghosts. All right. The wreck is near the border it shares with the green, red grass plateau. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go northeast. So I'm going back a little bit. Should I be collecting these things? Supersized ghost leviathans live there and they hate all life. I'm assuming there's nothing down there that I want, right? as well collect some stuff i suppose some rubies and stuff um that is the edge of the map okay well i don't know i'm i'm just kind of milling around there's literally nothing down there period okay good to know I'm a little bit lost right now. That is the nature of the beast. Ooh, is that magnetite? Nice. You just dive into the depths and die while the ghosts ravage you. Well, uh, you can't say that I haven't explored in this game. At least I, I haven't done the dunes and I don't think I will. Question, did the reapers spawn? Like if you killed them all, would they come back? I guess I should be heading south, shouldn't I? If I'm in, if I'm near the sparse reef right now, except, uh, wait, am I, am I in the sparse reef? You're on the sea treater's path right now. The the wreck I see is south. It's just like due south. So I'm going to go south until I see a cliff and then I'm not going to go south anymore. You're in the sea treater zone. Try northeast for the sea treaters wreck. The map I have shows it south. Let me let me try south and then I will try your method. Um, is this bubble zone, uh, an indication of the Grand Reef? If so, that means I've gone too far. Hey, bot. How are you doing? hate you those big bubbles are the grand reef okay good to know um there's nothing west right so i am i am for sure in the sea treaters path because if i go west anymore then i'm gonna start seeing ghosts and that's bad for business Why am I... Why is that going... Oh, it's not going as intended. 
Wow. Literally the end I hoped to avoid. There's Death West. So I'm I'm right now in between the zones of the Grand Reef and I thought the Sea Treaters zone or path. But the problem is, is that there's supposed to be a wreck like here. So I assume uh, those like tall strider looking things are uh, an indication of the Grand Reef. <laughs> the taser is very short range. If you want more range, you have to charge it up, but that drains much more battery. Okay. I could collect some stuff. Don't these guys trudge up uh, useful minerals? Yeah, they do. May as well collect some stuff while I'm here. Walkie crabs. Yeah, the walkie crabs are good lads. Shouldn't need lithium or diamonds ever again, basically. Inventory full. Let's fill up the uh, moth. I might head uh, head back home again. Because, like, I'm not really progressing here. I'm not finding the, the wreck. Uh, Kevbo, you say it's north northwest. I see, so I see a wreck in the blood kelp. Um, there's a, there's one in the blood kelp trench. And there's also one in the sea treaters path. I'm looking for the one in the sea treaters path right now. And obviously I'm not finding it. I'm not succeeding in that goal. Hey, Diamond Thorn. Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? How, how have you been? I might as well just fill up on stuff. Because then I don't have to collect any of this material, like, basically ever again. Okay, and we have enough gold. We're good. Sea Treaters Wreck is in the northeast edge of the zone near the red grass. Okay, let's let's go have a look. Northeast. Said none of the sea treaters have pooped pooped for Bimple, so he can be confused as to what to use their stool for. Oh. Hey guys, what's this? Oh, uh, what what do I use this for? This looks weird. I can't hold it. I'm going to have to drop all my water for it. There we go. I collected that stuff. <laughs> Is there anything on top of this? Is this a, a bad thing to do here? I know you say don't go near the surface, so I'm not going to go near the surface. Isn't in the caves, it's up on the cliffs near the surface.
right now I'm clearly in the uh, the Grand Reef, so I have to go a little bit northwest to get back on the uh, Sparse Reef or the Sea Treaters Path. So let's go back to the Sea Treaters Path and see if we can't solve this mystery. I don't like you. Go away. Uh, if it's all the same to you, chat, I kind of want to wait until it's daytime again. Keep sonaring. Yeah. Literally your best friend, ABC, always be censoring. Uh, always always be sonoring Ah, oh, that looks like something It just gave me titanium. Sea Treater Rex. Very nice, very nice. Good stuff is always inside, you need your laser cutter. But he did try. Premium DF is lit big. Can't wait for you to try. I did try. I uh, I did a stream yesterday. Um, should be able to find it fairly easily. I am going to do more content for uh, DF. I talked a little bit about this already, but I'm happy to go over it again. I, uh, I'm i going to be doing some tutorial stuff. Like, not like I'm not tutorializing. I, I am having my friend uh, Narf teach me how to play the game. On super propulsion arm fragment. Do I already have that? Um, once I have learned how to play the game a bit better, then I'm going to start a series. It's one of the few games, like I want, like I, like I said, I'm, I'm toning back series a little bit for my channel, um, but I want to do Door Fortress, and I'm going to continue doing Caves of Cud because you know that's that's my mainstay, that's my bread and butter. Docking bay repair module. Um, I can tell you what happened if, if someone hasn't already I'll get rid of this um, I almost died of dehydration uh, A couple of dwarves died of dehydration because I didn't get my beer up and running quickly enough and Then I didn't bury my dwarves uh, properly and so they started haunting my fortress and uh, other Dwarves started dying of fright, which was pretty funny. Um, let's, I'm going to go back into the moth just to refill my air. 
and I was trying to figure out how to build a tomb, but it wasn't going very well. Just want to make sure I'm not getting snuck up on. And that was more or less it. Um, I was just trying to figure out how to set up my farm when I had to end the stream. It was a pretty short stream. It was only about three hours. The tomb struggles. The tomb struggles were real. Um, Narf last night taught me how to uh, set up a manager, so I know how to do that now. Um, and I, I have a better sense of doing like work orders and stuff like that. Um, better idea of how to do farming and stuff like that. What is that? That looks like something. No? That's nothing. Okay. Did you play the game before the Steam version or are you new? Genuinely feel bad for making Bimple place of Nautica 1. I should have encouraged him to play Bizzle. Uh, Kevbo. If you had suggested below zero to me, the, here's how that conversation would have gone. Here, let me let me let me put on my pimple my my pimple voice for you here. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right, I, I'm gonna be you for a sec. Pimple, um, Subnautica one is good, but you should definitely try Subnautica below zero. It's the better of the two. Oh. Uh, okay, that that sounds pretty cool, but I don't have Below Zero. I have the first one, and it, it's pretty good, like you say, right? It's good. It's a good game. Uh, I'll just I'll play the first one first, because then I'll, I'll more appreciate the uh, the features of Below Zero and the improvements they made. Uh, that that'll be a lot more fun, right? And we can uh, we can all appreciate the, the the sequel more, right? Yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll play. We'll play the first one first, and then we'll play the Below Zero when it goes on sale, uh, maybe on the winter sale. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm glad we had this talk. That's that's good. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. There you go. Love you. <laughs> um, all right, so I found the prawn suit propulsion system. Ooh, are there any modules in here? No, no modules. Damn, that sucks. Uh, how do I get out of here? Did you play the game before the Steam version? I've been playing DF since 2010. I just love seeing new experiences. We got the shield, boys. Yeah. One mission is gone. Yeah, we did get the... We, we got the shield and we got the prawn propulsion system. So that's kind of what I came here for. And look at that. That's actually not that difficult to make. So that's good. Um, we do still need the Cyclops sonar upgrade. Uh, where did you say that that was? Uh, hold on. Sonar upgrade is found in Rex in the Blood Kelp Trench in the south. Um, the Bulb Zone east. Okay, well, let's go to the Bulb Zone next. We'll, we'll make our Cyclops Shield Generator and then we'll go east. That's a good point. Hope you consider not getting too proficient at Door Fortress on your own, Bimple. Since watching you struggle, I mean have fun brings great joy i i i understand um i i completely understand that that is part of the entertainment so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna become like good at the game and you know like what does that even look like you know it takes a long time to get good at anything really So 
So I don't expect myself to get like proficient just to like um, figure out how to like play the game. <laughs> I mean, consider this, after 500 hours of Caves of Cud, I wouldn't consider myself necessarily proficient at that game. I, I would consider myself, like, um, adequate. You know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, um, in, I'm on an internship, you know, like, I'm, I'm, uh, mentoring. That's literally the trench. Um, did I want to go into the blood blood kelp trench? Was there anything there for me? I kind of want to get back. Um, I'm kind of low on food and water. And then this is the, uh, this is a mushroom forest. I don't know. It's some kind of weird forest. Might hold the cy so, uh, Cyclops sonar. Uh, FYI. Okay, we'll, we'll go check it out again. We'll come west again. I guess I'm going northeast right now, so I should just go southwest next time. I mean, I'm going slightly east, so we'll go northwest, west. Or sorry, north. Sorry, um, the opposite, south, southwest. <laughs> look at all the look at all the stuff we got. I don't have to worry about diamonds ever again. You'll probably start shoving raw materials in your cyclops for the big trip. Yeah, you're not wrong. I just. I just hate it <laughs> so much. Find a, it's a fine line to walk, learning enough that everything isn't a frustration, but just uh, still keeping that feeling of freshness. Yeah, it is. It's a difficult thing to get right. All systems online. Uh, I'm actually gonna probably need some of that lithium. So what am I doing with this poop? Suitable for bioenergy. Am I shoving it in the bioreactor? Um, how does one make that poly polypropylene? Polyaniline. Gold and hydrochloric acid. And the hydrochloric acid is made with the blood kelp, right? Deep shrooms and salt. Not even close. Literally only used as mediocre fuel for the bioreactor. It's free, but it's almost a joke item. Nice. Well, I actually could use some energy, so that's that works for me. It's full of <laughs> stuffing your pockets full of poop. Indeed I am. Okay, um, we're making hydrochloric acid. No, we're not. We need salt. Hydrochloric acid. And then we need gold, I believe, so we can make the polypropylene. Pro pro polyaniline. Quite a mouthful. I feel like I could just start getting rid of salt because I have like a ton of salt. I guess I don't need more than one gold. Okay, and now I need to make advanced wiring, which is 
okay wiring kit two gold oh computer chip that's annoying okay well the wiring kit let's do that first that's two silver i haven't gotten silver in a long time i kind of worry that i'm going to run out of silver at some point Bimple got more water. I almost screamed so loud I woke my neighbors up when Bimple dropped the water for the poop. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, okay, so I need table coral and copper wire. And I already have the gold. So I just need to make copper wire. Boop, boop. And I'm going to need a table coral. So let's go get some of that. There's some there. kind of feel bad grabbing this stuff because it's like you know like in in our world you know co the coral it's not doing so good you know the whole reef thing it's not doing so hot i always feel a little bit bad getting rid of the table coral almost only almost creamed I'm drunk okay uh I should make an air bladder, I wonder. Might be good for certain situations. Okay, uh, I need two gold to make the advanced wiring kit. All right. Eggnog, yo. Okay, so I've got the advanced wiring kit, I've got the... Did I need... Where is it? Uh, I got the polyaniline. Well, what else do I need? Ba, 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 ba. Hull? No, not hull reinforcement. Maybe hull reinforcement? For the Seamoth and Prawn. Oh, I should probably make that for the Prawn, huh? No, we want the Cyclops Shield Generator, and we seem to have all of it. And in fact, I'm going to be using a uh, a dead battery to make it, which is actually pretty energy efficient. Not not uh, my intention to be optimal, but you know. This is an alien planet, so humanity hasn't had a chance to kill it yet. No dying coral reefs. Of course, everything is better in <laughs> below zero. Does this game have dead bleached coral reefs too for that extra realism? <laughs> Below zero has bleached coral reefs. All reinforcement only works for impacts with the environment. It does not help against animal attacks. Well, that sucks. Yo, I'm gonna I'm say that that is not cool. All right, um, we've got our Cyclops sonar upgrade. Do I need a Cyclops fire suppression system? Increase, I don't need this at all, right? Because I, I, I probably only need a couple of those. I hate that. <laughs> Consume! Yummy. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're good on energy. Now, why would you need fire suppression in the submarine? There's water all around you. It's okay, not mandatory, not if you have the shield. Okay, well, you have the shield. Um, how did you say that uh, we were going to uh, sort out the power problems? for the Cyclops. I have the Cyclops engine efficiency. 
because they just gave it to me. Does this, does this stack? Do I want more than one of these? I'm assuming it does not stack. And then the next thing I'm going to need is the sonar upgrade. And then besides that, I'll start working on uh, some of these. So um, we have the propulsion cannon. This is probably pretty good, right? The prawn suit torpedo arm. I don't know if I'm going to make this. I don't know if I want to make that necessarily. But we definitely need the suit drill arm. So let's go ahead and make that. That's not even a huge ask. Four diamonds, one lithium, five titanium. Efficiency, efficiency modules don't stack. You only need one. Okay. Might need not feel as creeped out around the Cyclops if you made it bright pink. Can I do that? Twin Swords really understands me. Big, 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 thou art. Ah, uh, big, big art. It's a big art. Done. called me a nerd you're so knowledgeable of different games prawn suit best arms for deep diving drill arm and grapple arm well, it, 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 it uh, figures that it would be the one thing I don't have I still don't like it but I like it more now at least I'm endeared to it slightly <laughs> it's like chat and me I still don't like it, but at least I'm endeared to it slightly. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, all right, so we're going to make the drill arm. So we're need, we need four diamonds and five titanium. I think I have all of that. Four diamonds. I'm gonna have to shove some more, uh, what is that? Oh, that's just salt. I'm gonna have to put some more mushrooms in the, uh, reactor. I don't like that, Cyclops, but I do want to give it $7 a month. There you go. Okay, let's get some shrooms and shove them in the reactor. Why? Warning, emergency power loading. Oxygen production offline. Go. Power restored. All primary systems online. Okay, okay. Um let's go and throw some uh table coral, I guess, in the Cyclops for some reason. Why not? And then we're going to throw the prawn suit drill arm onto the prawn suit. <clears throat> so we need the grapple arm. Is the grapple arm also potentially in the blood kelp? Or no? It's 
Sleep at your base when it's night to avoid solar panel loss. Oh. How do I sleep? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Okay. We have drill. Drill, baby, drill. All right, or let me eat some food and then we're gonna go back to the blood kelp uh, trench. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? I should also get a uh, med kit thing. So is there a link to the discord? Yeah. Um, it's been in most of my videos, but let me drop you a invite link. Hold on a second. I always forget how to do this. No, not create channel. Why does it want me to create a channel? I want to invite. Oh, there we go. Um, hold on. Okay. To sing my big brains and knowledge? No. You can sleep by crafting a bed with titanium and fabric. Fabric? Oh, yeah? That's cool, bro. Has Bimple seen the sunbeam yet? The sunbeam? Not sure. I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Uh, so we're going to go south southwest. No, we're going to go like this. I guess uh, my comeback later really is like in the perfect zone. Being too honest, I barely know much too much about the games y'all talk about. Mimesis, what's your favorite game? Maybe we could get your favorite game on here. Because, uh, you know, I feel like y you hang out a lot on my streams, and I really appreciate the company, but I, I always feel like I'm playing games that you are, are not... are maybe not your style or preference. Did Bimple's radio picking up a uh, alien signals? Yes. Oh shoot, I should have uh, picked up another power cell. Oops. Orpers are extra mad now. Oh, really? Oh no. I already don't like warpers. Bimple the Sunbeam was the ship that tried to land and pick up and got blasted by the building. Oh, okay. This looks trenchy. Heck yeah, trench. This place is so eerie looking. It's like, like that, that piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lazuli. Seferoth. These alien eggs, do I still not have an incubation for, uh, for those? God, I hate those warpers so much. So far, they're the only, uh, critter that I haven't been able to get used to. So, um, from what I can tell, the um, sea wreck is very west. Kind of close to my comeback later. Warpers hate infected beings. Oh. Sonar the wreck is caught in mid-water between the walls. The red mass is our blood kelp oil, useful crafting ingredient. I see you. 
Ah, uh, I see. I think I see it. Didn't I come here already? I thought I did this. Maybe I saw this wreck, but I didn't actually explore it. I hate you. I hate you. There's no need for that. That's a drill fragment. Where am I? So this is a drill arm fragment, not really what I want. This is a drill arm fragment. What is this? Is that just rubble? Bounty! Sorry. <laughs> that's, a, that's all you get for me. Bimple trying out his manual sonar at lap piece. That's ulti. How does one get inside this thing? Oh, God damn it. Please leave me alone. Integrating new PDA data. Is that, is that it right there? Nope. La peace. La soli. It's just a dead end. Rude. Save her off. Uh, modification station. Not what I need. I'm gonna run out of air. Okay, I actually kind of do need the nuclear reactor. So that's something taken care of. But uh, I need to get out of here. Hold on a second. I, I see your message, uh, Mimesis. I really like the long dark Minecraft and story of seasons, any games, puzzles, and card games. I, I'm a huge board game fan. Uh, I am going to be playing the Gor uh, Gordian Quest on uh, Sunday. Is that a, uh, one of those Krakens, whatever you call them? Um... So, is it just me, or did I not find what I came here for? Neither the sonar or the, uh... The grapple arm. Sorry, that's not an accusation. Um, but I, I want to have another quick look. This is the drill arm. You found the sonar. Did I find the sonar? You found the sonar upgrade. You haven't found the grapple arm. Oh, I already found the sonar upgrade. Did, did I do that and like completely not even notice? Oh, no. These things never seem to have any mod. Mods in them. Ooh. Yo.
Uh, okay. If the grapple arm isn't here, you'll have to look elsewhere. No, I, I just found it. Oh, hey, there it is. Never mind. Why am I hitting enter on this? <laughs> Very good. But, hey, there's some other useful stuff here. I, I need this quartz for a personal project. Can you go away? I don't care for you at all. I have a knife. Um, I haven't played any Story of Seasons game. I have played Stardew Valley. I know that they are uh, similar in nature. In fact, was a, I think Harvest Moon was originally called Story of Seasons. I wouldn't mind um, possibly playing uh, Stardew Valley for a sesh. I say a sesh, I mean like, you know, uh, a series thermal plant uh, clearly already got the thermal plant so I'm gonna let the so cyclops do the same red grid scan as the seamoth yeah that's uh that's this thing So I've accomplished quite a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all of the upgrades I can, <clears throat> sorry, that I can currently get um, without getting some of the near end game uh, materials. So basically the last two depth modules. Um, what do I need to make the uh, grapple arm? Okay, I've got all of that. I've got all of that. Um, benzene is kind of a pain, but that's fine. There's so much to do in Stardew Valley. I've never actually, quotation marks, beaten Stardew Valley. I know that it has an ending, but I've never seen it. I need more quartz was playing a multiplayer and there's still so much. I also played it a multiplayer and it's it's a lot of fun in multiplayer. Maybe I could do uh maybe I could do a multiplayer series of uh Stardew Valley. I'd be kind of open to that. Yo. Harvest Moon was originally Story of Seasons in Japan, then later Harvest Moon games became very bad. Stardew Valley is so much better. I haven't tried the American release of Story of Seasons yet. I've heard it's more of the same, um, which isn't to say it's bad. It's just uh, I don't think that they've really innovated on the genre much. And that's, I think, where Stardew Valley um, really, it does a lot to try and innovate and improve on things. I'm very much looking forward to, uh, what's his name? Is his name like Hippo or something? The, 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 the guy, the Stardew Valley guy, um, his haunted chocolatier game. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Craft the upgrades, put an upgrade station on your Cyclops and make sure you have lots of batteries, power cells and plotted, potted plants with melon trees and you're good. Can I have underwater, um, like plants on the cyclops or no is there a way to do that
Oh, I also have to do the prawn suit upgrade. I don't think I've done that. But I think I might have everything I need for that. Pretty sure I do. I might need more titanium, so we might have to do a run to the uh, Aurora. I yeah, I don't have enough titanium even to build uh, the 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 simple like the 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 sonar upgrade. I think I need. What do I need for the sonar upgrade? Uh, this is the sea moth. I need the uh, la la la. Where is it? There it is. Computer chip and magnetite. Okay, that's actually totally fine. I need like one copper wire. What does the computer chip require? Oh, reactor rod. Yeah, interesting. Computer chip is table coral and gold and copper wire. I'm running out of copper dangerously fast. I'm also, I'm going to swap out one of the power cells. Do I have a power? Oh, I don't have a power cell on me. I should probably craft another power cell. Um, there's so much to do. All right, let's get a chunk of gold. Oh, and magnetite. Only indoor grow bed paint plant pots are available. Time to move into Cyclops. Hey, I'm a 10. I don't think it will do well. People really explored and played through and through. You mean Stardew Valley? I mean, for streams, I don't really mind uh, if, you know, they're not as popular as some of my, like, YouTube stuff. I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I know that people have played it to death. I need table coral, which is on the Cyclops. I really need to move the Cyclops closer. I'll join the stream later. Gotcha. Appreciate you coming by and saying hi. Currently playing Stardew Valley modded from time to time. It's fun. Uh, another game I wouldn't mind playing. I don't know if it would make a good stream game, but I kind of wouldn't mind playing Dyson Sphere. A uh, very different kind of game, and uh, I don't know. You either like it or you don't, I think. I don't know. Actually, I don't think anyone dislikes it. I just think that it's not probably not very entertaining for some people. Okay. Computer chip made. What do I need that for again? For the sonar, right? Yeah. And I need three magnetites. So can I make that over here? Excuse me. Can I close you? There we go. Sonar is made. Story seasons, you have three different plots of land and you have these little creatures like in Stardew Valley and will give you stuff for tasks to help you with on your farm. You can also mine with, uh, with two caves. Um, what was that? Something just like crashed into us. Was that just a sea critter? That was really disconcerting. Okay. Sonar equipped. So the only thing I need for the Cyclops is the depth uh, module Mark three. But we don't need to do that right now. Um, I do need for the prawn suit. I'm going to need the prawn suit jump, jump jet upgrade. I think I have everything I need for that. And I'm going to need the grappling arm. And I'm pretty sure I have everything I need save for the titanium. So we're going to go on a titanium run. I, this has been a very resource grindy uh, playthrough today. I hope I hope you all don't mind that. It's mostly all in preparation for like the mid to end game. I will put some uh, grow beds on the on the uh, cyclops. I guess I did do some tight, um, some resource ga uh, not resource gathering ex exploration. We we found quite a lot of uh, blueprints that I needed. 
Can you make the thermo energy gatherer majiggy for the Cyclops? Uh, I don't even think I know of it. Or is it its own thing? Like, is it a uh, thermoelectric plant? Thermal plant requires aerogel. It's also one Stardew like, like from Fable Devs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Snykin, Sny Seed or something? Kin Seed. It's listed on the Cyclops Fabricator. A lot smaller than Stardew Valley, unfortunately, we can visit other people's farms, like other players' farms. That's kind of cool. Can only look at it on the Cyclops that might require Kyanite. Okay, let's have a look. What a weird thing. Uh, yo, I, I, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I do not see it. Fire suppression. Cyclops docking bay repair module. I don't I don't see it. You sure it's not something I have to discover first? Um, all right, we're gonna go uh, I'm gonna eat some food and then uh, I'm gonna go in, on a titan a titanium run. I, I said titanite again I'm gonna drop off our lithium. We don't really need all this lithium on us right now. Oh look, there's some uh, titanium I actually think that's enough to make what we need right now I'm actually gonna uh, install my legally co owned copy of that game right now. I I understand. I'm a ten. <laughs> I understand. Um, what am I trying to make? I'm trying to make the jump jet. I think. Either the grapple arm or the jump jet. Grappling arm is tight. Titanium, lithium, advanced wiring kit. Man, I need a lot of advanced wiring kits, huh? Can we make this? Yes, we can. Let's make this first. Crystalline, sulfur, and lithium. Oh, <laughs> I put the modification station on the uh, Cyclops. The Cyclops thermal reactor module needs to be found as well. It's in the mountains. Bad. Grand Reef. Okay. And the Northwest Mushroom Forest. Super easy casual. Um, Alright. I guess we could do that too. We could do that as well. Kind of an important part unless you want to make like a six extra power cells. No, yeah. I, I would rather have my power uh, needs met. Why am I in here? Oh, modification station. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Where is... Where am I trying to... Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained right now. Um, prawn suit jet, jump jet upgrade. I guess I need to make that in the... Oh my god. Yeah, I see what you mean about there being, like, too many places to make things. I need to make it in the moon pool. Oh, gotta make it in the moon pool. Can't make it anywhere else. Couldn't make it in any of the other 3D printers, even though it's basically the same thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Back to my bird, Captain. Okay, prawn suit, jump jet, upgrade. There we go. There we go. No, that's not what we wanted to happen. Okay, Kinseed has chicken walking across the road, loading bar, 10 out of 10 game. But does it have fishing? Does it have fishing though? <laughs> I know that it does, so don't don't worry. Don't don't even bother. Let's just dump the salt somewhere. Streamlines a lot of the crafting, makes things certain. BZ air bladder is amazing. Yo, I I love below zero. Love it. Okay, um, we made that. So now I need to make the grappling arm. We need bend. We just need a lot of titanium again. And I need to make an advanced wiring kit. I think I have enough copper for that because that's... Oh, wait, I don't need any copper. No, I need a computer ship, which does require copper wire. Um... We need copper wire. Officially, I am out of copper wire. Okay. Oh, let's uh, eat some food before I go on another ti titanium run. I do appreciate how, like, completely who cares the farming is in this game. Like, I don't have to worry about, you know, soil richness or nitri um, what do you call it? Uh, nitrate? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. <laughs> Why was that so hard? And, uh, the, you know, the plants just, like, grow in, like, five minutes. And you know what? Um, to hell with realism, because we're living in a sci-fi future. Why shouldn't it be stupidly easy to make, you know, farm plants? It should be easy. That stuff, we should have that stuff on lock, you know? Like, just, like, kind of tweak the genes a little bit and then make it grow, like, ridiculously fast. It should, should, it should grow so quickly that you can't even stand near the plant because it's sucking in so much carbon and, like... Uh, uh, air out of the out of the air. You can't even stand near it because you you would you would kind of feel short breath. That thing just like grows, like like bam. It's it's just done. Two seconds. I need more copper. This is gonna be titanium, isn't it? Oh, silver. Actually, silver. We could do with more silver. Below zero has pangling, waddling, tripping along the loading bar. Also, ten out of ten. Uh, I just saw that it, he, it has a cooking mini game, which is also nice. I, apparently, the Kinseed mini game for cooking is very robust, which is cool. That's lead. We don't need lead. Why is my inventory full? Why is it so full? Oh, it's because I. Yeah. Why is my inventory so full? I have no idea. Oh, I forgot to dump off my stupid resources. Okay. Well, I need silver still. You lost all your farm plants in the crash. Growing mushrooms in two seconds while running around collecting rocks like a caveman makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, like once you get the prawn suit, you're no longer collecting rocks like a caveman. You're collecting rocks like a super advanced caveman. Right? Right? Okay, um, take, take, let's take bets. Does he forget to, uh, empty out the sea moth again? You know, I'm very jealous of all, all of you can see Vild. 
It appears to be fun, but I guess I will never know for certain. Is that I, I, I can't remember Vild uh, Cactus. Are you the one that blocks everyone? <laughs> can't remember. I, I, I never remember who it is that in chat that just like blocks everyone immediately. He's like, no. Socializing is for the birds. Uh, let's make a wiring kit real quick. I haven't blocked anyone. No. Who is it? Who is it in chat that blocks everyone? No judgment at all. I get it, but... Uh, I need copper real bad. And I need to dump my moth stuff. Let's actually, let's dump it into the um, Cyclops. I'm not going to get inside of the sea moth. Or sorry, the, the Cyclops as the sea moth. That would be bad news bears. like the sounds that you make no he only blocked me on uh sad face well what did you say bot what did you do did you say something unsavory isn't that lucas oh yeah i think you're right lucas did block everyone not to out him like that, but... Okay, um, let's go and find some copper and more titanium. Streamer attempting to garner a fan base. I understand immediately blocking everyone who talks without question or provocation. Yes. That's true. I mean, I get just like not wanting to be sociable. I, I will, I will admit, um, I don't think I would tell people I do that. <laughs> like, that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, you know, I might do it if I was a different person, but like, uh, I, I, I wouldn't tell them that I did that. Uh, that's, that's the weird part, you know, do it if that's what you need, but, um, maybe keep it to yourself. I mean, you're already by yourself, but then again, I guess the only person that saw them saying that they <laughs> ban everyone is me. And then I outed them as doing that. So, uh, you know, what? <laughs> it, the, it makes sense, Kevbo. Because remember, I, I'm trying to garner uh, lots of people. Uh, the favor of lots of people. Including the people who blocks everyone. Oh, god damn it. Ouchies. Even this late in the game, I still don't like those things. No! I need copper is the only reason I'm bothering with this. I guess I'll collect the sulfur as well. Why not? I haven't really needed or used sulfur in ages, so. Lead. I definitely don't need lead. I don't need gold. I need copper. Give me the copper. No. I don't want that. Actually, I did want that. That was the copper. Give me a entire plate of peas. If you block everyone else, are you just having a private chat with a streamer? I mean, maybe you are. 
your your chat your message i mean if the streamer is not super popular uh then you know your your message is still one of many right still but yeah i guess you're you're talking to the streamer and and then they're they're maybe seeing your messages as per normal because he just hates me can't blame him I think you only use cave sulfur for one item. Isn't it batteries? Pretty sure it's batteries. Nope. Not even that. What in the world do you use sulfur for? I don't even know. Why in the world am I still collecting sulfur for? Get rid of this. It's dumb. It's bad. Go. It looks like little uh, pancakes. Badly made pancakes. Or like a little pile of rice. Oh no, who hates you? This is now becoming uh, a thing in chat. It's not really a thing. Let's not make it a thing. We are approaching the two hour mark. Um, what, where, uh, someone said where, uh, the thermal engine was. But can you let me know again? Did you say it was in the mushroom biome? Everyone keeps mocking me for pointing out BZ's fixes. I won't mention the BZ blends cave sulfur and crystalline sulfur. <laughs> I don't think that anyone's mocking you. I don't know. I don't think that anyone's malicious enough to mock in chat. Necessarily. Does this stuff, does this still have something in it? Wow, it totally does. Do I even care? Oh, actually, um, let's pull out the power cell from the Seamoth, and then we can charge that. Please, God, finish gathering everything you need so we can go straight to the Lost River next week, and the Cyclops Thermal Upgrade is in the Northwest Mushroom Forest. Okay. a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff i need still god damn it why can't you be a physical object prawn suit get out of my house Being mugged, I'm just an inherently negative sulfur. <laughs> I thought they just got rid of uh, cave sulfur, then renamed crystalline sulfur to just sulfur. I, I remember. Okay, we have enough titanium. We don't need any more titanium. Shouldn't need any more titanium. They just removed sulfur altogether. No more sulfur. Okay, we're making a computer chip. We need more table coral. Oh my god. Do I have any on me? Do I have any in here? Yes, I do. Yay. I don't have to go out. What am I making this for? Just to make sure that I don't do something stupid. Um, I'm, I believe I'm making the grappling arm still. So I'm making the advanced wiring kit. Uh, the advanced wiring kit is a wiring kit and a computer ship. That's why I'm making the computer ship. Whoops, wrong thing. Okay, 
Here's the wiring kit and I need the gold. Where is the gold? Show me the gold. I need the gold. No more Subnautica in Subnautica below zero. I shall give you virtual hug. Yay. Okay. Is he finally going to make the grappling arm? Tune in next week. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Benzene and lithium. Okay, we need to go get some blood nonsense. Blood kelp. I don't have enough room for all my blood kelp. Because the blood kelp is very heavy. Pretty sure it's three. It's like a it's a blood kelp benzene crafting recipe is kind of a pain in the butt. It is three. So that's like 12 slots you need to, to make the benzene. And now, uh, titanium and lithium. Okay, we got those. Show me the lithium. There's the uh, titanium. Where is the... Uh, I keep putting it in here and I keep forgetting that it's in there. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, now we need to go to the crafting station. Over here. Uh, grappling arm. We've done it. There is no blood kelp in below zero. You know, oh. <laughs> Why am I not just playing below zero, guys? I'll never know. If only someone had recommended that I play below zero over original Subnautica. Then we may not have suffered through this. I'm honestly still enjoying this game. I I, I think it's, it's fine. I'm sure below zero is an improvement in every way. But I fail to agree with the uh, let's not play the original at all. Um, I'm going to get another first aid kit and then we're going to go... Someone probably answered my question. Let me see here. Uh, Cyclops thermal upgrade is in the Northwest mushroom forest. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I have a habit of blocking people in chats because it would create exactly this scenario. You know, I, I blame myself because uh, really I shouldn't like be reading the messages in chat that say, Oh, I wish that uh, this person didn't block me because then it's just like feeding some kind of non drama Like there's no drama But I because I read it it turns into a drama. It's honestly my fault. I shouldn't read those Um But it could honestly just be a problem with uh, YouTube like uh, YouTube does some weird stuff Like arbitrarily you know hold on a second there's something else i want to do i need to make the potted plants in the cyclops sorry i'm, I'm very scatterbrained because i need to I, I need to check a lot of boxes today um there we go habitat what how much does the composite plant pot is just titanium let's make a bunch of those then I'm probably going to need to do another titanium run because titanium is just always necessary, apparently. Okay. We're going to make some potted plants. YouTube below zero doesn't have this problem, by the way. <laughs> Cactus, I appreciate that joke. That's very good.
As long as you have two or three potted plants with fill melons, you're good. Okay. At least two three is safe yeah i was gonna do like five maybe that's overkill i don't care that's what i do i overkill so that i don't have to think about stuff like bimple has a very limited amount of cash like memory ram in in their headspace um and uh, so you know compromises need to be made and one of those compromises is I overspend resources to ensure that I don't have to think about uh, something later. Because then I know uh, that I'm going to forget or I'm going to run into problems while other problems are, are happening. Okay, so we're going to cut all of our melons into seeds. Oops. And I'm going to deposit those back because I still want to have melons here oops that was not intentional it's fine we need to eat some food anyway and then uh, we'll just get the ball rolling Bimple has an infinite amount of cash and a NASA computer as his setup and a Palaton don't forget to guys to, to maintain your Palaton subscription Bimple needs his cut. Okay, we'll get the ball rolling on that. Um, I'll, when I come back, probably those will be grown. And uh, we'll be good. We don't have to worry about um, food in there anymore. Was there something else I had to uh, build in there, Kevbo? Running on Windows 95, though? I know, right? This thing is basically running inside of uh, Minesweeper. That's why I have Minesweeper on my desktop and not Subnautica. Um, what am I doing? I'm, I'm eating food. That's what I'm doing. See? There's the, there's the RAM running out on Bimple's headspace. Okay, we're good. I just like to, like, kill it now so I don't have to worry about it later. All right. So now we're going to go northwest to the mushroom forest. So we can get... Oh, right. Did I, I did pull out the battery, right? Yes, okay. So we're going to be going northwest. I was facing the right direction the first time. Just go to the northwest mushroom forest and get the Cyclops thermal reactor upgrade and you're golden. Then we pretty much don't need anything else. Uh, I might transfer a bunch of resources to the Cyclops so I can start building stuff. And I will have to transfer the uh, prawn suit. Like I'll move the prawn suit to the Cyclops so that we have both. We pretty much have everything we need to uh, finish the game, in a way. I know there's a lot more stuff to do. Don't don't worry. I understand that. But like, I'm pretty much set up for whatever I need. Usonar, the northwest mushroom forest is between the dunes to the far west and the red grass plateau. Uh, is this it? Is this the wreck? This looks like it could be the wreck, huh?
plant shelf. Go west. Well, let me check this out anyway. There might be something in here that I missed. Cyclops thermal reactor module. Look at that. First try. This is where I watched my parents die. <laughs> Cow a bummer. The stream reminded me of how much I hate gameplay loop of Subnautica. Love the exploration in the world, but damn, it's such a grind fest. I think you either, you either like it or you don't. I understand not liking it. I like it. Light stick fragment. Excuse me. Okay, I got what I came for. I don't need to really explore any more than that, I think. I like the uh, sub still like Subnautica, but lowered easy. Yo, easy. Everyone keeps savagely mocking me. <laughs> the sarcasm doesn't read very well in text. I don't know. Yo, Kevbo's saying that below zero is better than this game. He's a witch. Burn him. Guys, get the pitchforks. All right, let's uh, let's have a quick look. Maybe I can make the thermal reactor before I call it. We're pretty much like good to go. Like, um, it seems a shame to uh, like leave one box unchecked. We got another radio message, yo. I'm a Nigerian prince and I need to transfer two million dollars to your account. Please help me. You are a wizard, Gepo. I'm a what? Oi, Harry. You're problematic. What? You're problematic. That's impossible. I'm I'm just Harry. I'm just I'm just Harry. Well, just Harry. You're problematic. And cancelled. That that's gonna read badly. I I, I genuinely don't. <laughs> okay, listen. The first statement was true. The second statement is false. Um. All right. How does one make a thermal reactor? Uh, but, 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 but what do I, do I need this Neptune launch platform at all? Is that a thing I need? What do I need for these? I need lithium, titanium, and kyanite. Um, oh, that's the prawn suit. And then the cyclops suit is plasteel nickel. So I can pretty much get everything I need. I probably am going to need to carry a metric ton of, uh, titanium. So we'll have to do a little bit of grinding on that next week. But I need the sonar, no, 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 modifications of Cyclops. Do I, can I only, is this the thing I can only see in the, ther in the Cyclops? I promise the next time I mention how much cooler uh, below zero is today, I'll take myself. Can't tell you honestly how much I dislike that term, Kevmo. <laughs> I, I, I will take, uh, like, ten recommendations of below zero over one nick myself. 
Okay, oh my god. Okay, we need kyanite for the Cyclops thermal reactor, so never mind. Never mind. Ah! Shameful they can't simply speak their opinion on this issue. I stand with Kevbo against the senseless censoring. Is it senseless? <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Below Zero Gate is, al is alive and well in chat. Is this not fully grown yet? Why can't I cut it? Is it not grown? Why aren't you grown? Probably you're not grown yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I need kyanite. So that means uh, we're doing that next week. So next week I'm going to transfer all of my resources from... Uh, tell you what, one thing we could do is let me get the hab unit out. We're going to build some storage. Because as much as we have storage here, I need more. We need quartz and titanium. That's fine. We've got, we've got tons of all of that. No one listens to anything I say. <laughs> Jesus. No! Kevbo, it's not true. Tell me about below zero. I must know. How's the uh, inventory management in below zero? Can I can I press a button to automatically deposit all of my resources in the local lockers? Love that quality of life feature. Would love that quality of life feature in this game. Makes uh, organization a, a breeze. Um, okay, hold on. So what I'm gonna do, uh, my my, I, uh, my dad actually taught me this. He was telling me that if you place the lockers sideways, you can fit more of them. Seems like a good idea. So I'm going to place a couple of sideways lockers here. Look at that, see? It's kind of cool. And below zero, you don't have to do that because they stack sideways. They, they stack on top of each other. I'm just making up stuff now. Can I do this? Oh, that's kind of nice. Let me actually, I'm going to deconstruct this one and place it sideways. the other way because it looks nicer so what am I missing for this titanium so I need one titanium for that that's fine oh my god bimple please don't build a storage facing the wall why why it looks nice I think it looks good and I can open it it's fine what's wrong He did it re I'm not do I'm not changing it. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Do I have any more titanium? I I bet I have some titanium if I deconstruct something. Can't remember. Do these give me titanium? Yes. We only need one titanium. I will. I promise I will complete that project in the future. Isn't role playing right in the Subnautica game? He's playing, and and now I'm not. So I hate this now. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. He 
He's playing the game wrong. I hate him now. Negative seven dollars. Why did you do this? Do 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 Unsubscribe. 